Hey guys, Dabu7. You were looking at a fluoride checker and a lot of popular bottled water. Now, seen a lot of different numbers out there, different tests that have been done in regards to the bottled water. Here recently there was questions as to the levels of fluoride that was in each of these drinks. So what I've done is I've put out a separate video in regards to this checker. You guys can watch and get a lot of information on. I talk about the calibration, also talk about the regent, the extra test regent that you'll need, and you'll need deionized water or distilled water. Now, in this process, and this is this is awesome because you can get this device for around 50 bucks, and they have all kinds of different ones that test for different things. This one specifically for fluoride, and it works with a light bulb in it that reads it, and it takes advantage of the newer technology and makes it affordable for people out there to be able to check things like the water you're drinking and even the tap water at your at your house. So how this works, and it's rather time consuming per each test, but I'm going to show you the rundown on one and then I'll leave the test results or show the test results for each one as well, the, the end number for each water that I'm going to test here. Got eight of them, popular brands. Also going to test in every city I go to from here on out. And how this works is basically you take your two vials and you take your regent here and you put two milliliters in each one. You put your distilled water in this one. You pop that into this, you close it, and you hit this button and it will do a timer uh, that counts down for two minutes. When it's done, it will say C2. You then take the two milliliters and add eight milliliters up to the line of your sample water, of each individual water. Then you hit the button and it does the reading and it will tell you the parts per million there of what is inside of your water when it comes to the fluoride. So don't have to wonder anymore going to run these tests. This is something everyone can do. Like I said, they have different devices that test for other metals and other things. But this is definitely something to have in your arsenal. If you're worried about fluoride or other things in your drinking water. So if there's any other questions you guys can ask me, I'll try to answer them the best I can. I did call in to Hannah and ask them myself specifically um, what I needed to do step by step instead of just reading off the directions and getting something wrong. They told me calibrate it once or you just do it every, every now and then and it's pretty simple and the steps are the same thing. You put your first vial in, it does a countdown for two minutes reading it, then you pop in the next one and then it gives you which should be around a 0.92 to 0.97 reading, somewhere in that ballpark. That's average. That's showing you that it's working. And that's what this is for, is to calibrate it right at the gate. Now you can see that this is one milliliter when completely full. What we're going to do is we're going to take... and put our two milliliters into each one wondering if you've had you know, too little or too much water just make sure you hit your 10 milliliter line there and once you have your distilled water in don't shake it up too much you don't want a lot of bubbles and make sure that your vials are wiped clean then I'll move on and I'm going to test Fiji here first do the same thing, filling it up to the line here. Fiji, 0.35 parts per million. And the Dasani comes in at a 0.16 parts per million. And we will test the family gourmet 
This is and a point one four is what we get from the family gourmet. Point one four. And Deja Blue is point one seven. Propel checking in at point one seven. And we have Crystal Geyser coming in with the second highest so far at point three one. Coming in second so far behind Fiji the head a point three five. Parts per million on the fluoride. Recheck. Shows us the same thing, a zero, zero, zero. And if you look closely down here, the bottom, it says distilled. It is vapor distilled water. So that is the difference between the smart water here and the rest is that it is distilled. And since distilled water was used in the base product for the sampling, uh, it's registering just the same as being the cleanest so that's a look at the top eight that I could find out there right off the shelf that I wanted to do an update on. As a recap, as you can see here, from right to left, we have the best, well, the best results to the worst results. And as I said before, the smart water is distilled water, so that's why it read the best in regards to checking it on the fluoride fluoride levels. We then had Ice Mountain at point one one. We then had the Family Gourmet at point one four. We then had the Dasani at point one six. Deja Deja Blue and Propel were both at point one seven. Then we had. The Crystal Geyser at point three one, which was high, followed by Fiji at point three five, that had the highest, and that is parts per million measured off the Hanna device. It is an excellent device, easy to use. Like I said, I put out a separate video talking about how to use it. Any questions, I can help answer them. Going to continue to do testing. Going to test every city that I go into. Going to test for as much as we can out here. I wanted to show people that you can do this yourself. Uh, this device was like 50 bucks. Like I said, if you have any questions, I can help walk you through it. You can test in your neighborhood, at your house, your area. You can see what's really going on. And they offer a lot more than just the fluoride testers. They test for a lot of different things. But once you get the concept down, uh, it's rather easy to do. But I wanted to provide you guys here with some solid numbers instead of guessing and wondering and show you uh, what I've come up with. And you could do repeated tests on each one to get a more accurate number. But, um, you know, like I said, it takes some time to do each one. There's a countdown. And once you fill your first vial here, you can use it as your base for everything that you're testing. But I will leave more information in the description box. And I will continue to update with more test results as I come across it. But this here, serving as proof of how much fluoride is in your bottled water. To top it all off, and the main reason I wanted to do all this, as you can see, the home water here in this area is a 0.78 which is super high. That's how much fluoride they're putting in the local water around here. So I just showed the numbers in regards to all the bottled water and you seen where they sat with Fiji being 0.35 the highest, but the water coming out of the faucets around here, a 0.78 and this is a starting ground. I'm gonna to continue to test Everywhere I go, 
and I'll continue to update with the results. This is stuff people need to know. This has been Dabu7. Peace.